Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode. Today we have a interlude chapter, what is called. A chapter between the major chapters and today is gonna be for dance and based on the light theme they say Kaya is gonna be here. So I guess we're gonna go back in Monset. But I'm not sure. So, okay. Yeah. I didn't uh, activate this on accident. Okay. Where to go? Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? I am curious how much do this story kind of goes on. I mean, okay, we saved the time, but do all the details like everyone knows by now? Like, we are blonde and, you know, have Paimon? Who's asking? Do you need something from us? You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another Outlander. He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Wait, do they say for mail us? I'm kind of curious, guys. Consider in the future, this is gonna be possible playable, it's just a guess. But imagine new players and, you know, get to pull him and then get him and, you know, you see in the start of the story and you barely see him. Imagine that he, in his boy lines, is gonna spoil everything if you actually look out. to us unless we happen to go to the post office on whim. So, um, what address did that person give you anyway? Uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. <laughs> uh, next to... Do the oxy count? I don't, again, what's kind of the deal with prime? I mean, okay. This all can, uh, the people are kind of already common with a little oddity here and there, but Paimon, Lita is the only thing we saw in this whole world. We have Aranas, we have Chilis, we have Yokais, but Paimon, we literally didn't say any kind of close things to her. And I hope we're gonna get some answers, please. What? So the address is Paimon? Yeah, exactly, right? And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Yeah, Paimon is now emergency food and email address. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Of course, here it is. All yours. Oh, he's old. Kaya? Wait, this is a letter from Kaya, not for Desley? Lisa here, why not uh, invite Jean and Klee here? And man, I can't wait to see that happening because I bet everyone want, wish now Klee to visit Sumel. But first we're gonna have characters from Sumel visit Monset first to know whether to come back when they want the events. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see 
the old friends. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Cavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? Oh, I can actually eat his mind? I think they actually gave up on Nahida reading gimmick. Yeah, they, I think they actually give up on this. Is available only in Sumer and character that kind of can heal. They're not gonna bother too much. A lot. Oh my. What did I just discover? Wait. Wait. Did I just discover? Okay, I'm gonna continue on. something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh? Well then, just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon. Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> you can only see who's gonna choose between the Diso. The Fangirls and me. To be honest, you guys know that they are kind of like three or two characters that I, I really dislike. I mean, I don't dislike, dislike, but they're not my favorite. But Kaya, he's kind of in the middle, to say. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Dean? <laughs> not at all. The acting grandmaster positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Shouldn't be that the Diluc... Actually, Diluc is dealing with wine. Actually, I don't know what I try to go with, but yeah. Sumeru's spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the Knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. Why do I don't believe him? I don't know why, but... It's a graphic, uh, I set that too low because I don't know why. We, I mean, okay, I don't have the high tech specs, but at least I have a middle point to say set up, but I don't know why. Maybe it's something I set up for. And how did that go? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. A great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master Diluc are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? 
Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> hey! Using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very knightly, Captain! Oh? What makes you say that? Really? Not because it's usually... This is how you usually go. I mean, Lisa come alone before, so... Again, I don't expect uh, them to actually come with a team or something with a squad. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. And? Do continue. <laughs> do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. Wow, he actually came from. Okay, before everyone says in the comments, do we actually heard from him actually say doing the soil maybe his quest maybe i mean i don't think we have to look up information voice and story over to actually know that kaya is from kenya although i think this is now will discovery i feel and so i stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to sumeru but it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru it's because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. Oh, boy. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up. And so I started caring less as well. I saw you then, Sleeve. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. The... Your real father, does it? But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. Oh wow, how, how ironic I actually did the here first before his. Although I kind of feel that they... What is beeping me now? Sorry. I was going to say how maybe sometimes this character quite kind of foreshadowed, were foreshadowed by the Arkham Quest in some way. Just, you know, to align this a little bit. Maybe... Actually, not to think about... Maybe Fawadzan Quest is going to be... For starting something that I didn't notice. Maybe. Although I'm gonna do a thousand story next week. Because I have no idea what to do next. A happy life sounds good to me, of course. Even if it means being cut off from... Certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Albrecht is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Wow, you're actually gonna just show up. Hey, Denzi, not like no time she. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Albury? So that's how Kaya gets into contact with Denzi. They just meet up. Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. 
I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Tainsliff, if I'm not mistaken. So you remember me? Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Alberich, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Whoa, 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 whoa. she. Okay, I didn't expect to actually bring all the plot twists and you know load dump right, right away. You usually start time to say, but then, what? Well, in the last five minutes, we already have so much to di dissect. The Abyss Order of Panda. Oh boy, I don't like where this can go. Huh? What? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. Why do I feel he already knew about this? Or maybe he didn't have the concrete answer to it. Just the feeling. But yeah. After so much time we didn't start Kaya for... Depending if you actually did the game day you want to see. You didn't saw him from a long time ago. Like, I bet most people are gonna be... Actually, no, you can kind of have Kai in your team for that much long, but... You know what I get to say. In story-wise, we didn't see him from a long time. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case... I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. I don't know why, but I kind of find it funny how densely caught uh, the upper thing can just obscure the eyes, like, can you imagine the close cosplay of the what have to do to actually keep this one to say uh, up? I mean, imagine the worst picture you can take with him and one of these things can cover the eyes. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the Deadly Serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. You can say that again. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. Either way, Looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. Uh, well, all right then. You go do your thing, Kaya. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> trust him do you dane you're both from conria but you get on like oil and water oh yeah last time we meet with dane he, we were underground right man i actually forgot the most that happened in the chasm to see oh uh, yeah that happened after i just remember because last last time he was just teleported away so yeah now, you ca now that we have free time, you better answer some question, mister. Like something to with our sibling. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. 
And this is uh, the Asia story again, at the near end. If you saw the place. But the end, Dehia now wants to go find her real parents to say. And to be honest, it's kind of stupid because, of course, that's gonna be a story for chapter two to say for her when that's gonna come out. But in the same time, when you are all kind of this setting, it's kind of little, very little chance to actually find your biological friend, no friends, family. Consider that you are a band in the desert, the most dangerous place by now. Well, I suspect that they call your sister their princess, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if she was the founder, she'd be the queen, right? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your sister. She mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that she mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in Avidya Forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! No. Now is not the time. No, it's just... I'm still waiting for my drink. And he's doing the 